So what are the common mistakes that people make when they are setting up their very own UK limited company? Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants and in this video we're going to be talking about the disasters, the mistakes, the issues that you might have by trying to set up a UK limited company by your lonesome without any tax or legal advice. Now the URL to set up a limited company by yourself can be seen so you can pause this video and get the URL. I will try and put the video link um, as well so you can click on it. I've created a separate video of how to create a limited company yourself. So feel free to have a look at that. Talking about tax advice, we can certainly help you with that. If you use code YouTube25, you can get a 25% discount from all of the consultations. And again, the links to book those calls will be above me and in the video description box below. So let's have a look at this. This is the typical mistakes that we see when people make a former limited company. Straight away is, will the company be limited by shares or limited by guarantee? People click on limited by guarantee without actually understanding what that is. Most people should be choosing limited by shares because that is a typical way of forming a limited company. If you set up a company and you start trading and you've got limited by guarantee, you don't know what that is, it is a difficulty to correct that back into limited by shares. So make sure you choose the right option for you. Mistake number two. So what will the company be doing? Now, you'll see here we've chosen 68209 and it says for other letting and operating of only sold real estate. And that's for renting properties, buy to let properties. But if you have other activities, you're doing some development work or you've got furnished holiday lets and you're VAT registered, mixing that up with your buy to let property investments is a total disaster. From an accounting perspective, from a tax perspective, from a VAT perspective, from an entrepreneur's perspective, uh, you know, there's a lot of issues. So people create limited companies. So well, actually, I don't want lots of limited companies. So I'll create one for 68100 for my um, property development and 68209 for property investments. And I'll mix the two up. Why? Because if something goes wrong with your property development, it can adversely affect your company. If, if something goes wrong, then your buy to let property investments are at risk because of your property development. So don't do it. Split the two out and think about having a holding company instead. But again, get some tax advice about that. So uh, no, mistake number three is the fact that people tick no to email reminders or ignore those emails. Now, those emails from companies house will tell you about when your confirmation statement is due. The confirmation statement is all about telling companies house and the public who the directors and shareholders are. And that's missed. And if you're not careful, you could get yourself into trouble. Um, it will also tell you when your year end is up and when you should be filing your accounts. The one mistake I see, which is mistake number four, is people setting a limited company up just by themselves. They are the sole director, they are the sh sole shareholder. I'm working with a client, unfortunately, who passed away. The spouse has now got a real issue on the hands because the person who passed away was the sole shareholder, sole director. And that means that no one else can have any influence over this business whatsoever. So really you should have a minimum of two directors because if someone is incapacitated or dies, then the other director can still work on behalf of that company from a legal matter. And shareholders, if you have shareholders, shareholders you can they easily, if you have two or more, pass shares from one person to another in case of death or in terms of separation, whatever it might be from an ease perspective. If you don't have that in place, you could, you might have to go to get a court order, which can take significant amount of time and it can cause you issues in terms of the day-to-day -day business activities for your company. So don't set up shareholders. And I've not even touched upon the fact that having one shareholder means that you are the only one who can take dividends. What about your spouse? What about your children? What about your parents? Why not give them uh, dividends if you're giving them money anyway, so that you do not have to pay tax by taking the money yourself by passing it on to them. Again, get some really good tax advice on that. 
Um, what would you like the name share? So again, people use, uh, this is mistake number four, continuing from that theme, is people use ordinary shares. Do not use ordinary shares. As it says there, use ordinary A share, ordinary B share, ordinary C share, so you can differentiate the share classification from all the shareholders so that you can then say, well, actually, this person's a basic rate taxpayer, this one's a high rate taxpayer, we'll give more dividends to the basic rate taxpayer. Mistake number five when forming a limited company. Conform the control of the company. Do you want to use model articles? articles? Unless you are a technical expert of limited company formation or a legal background, then tick yes is the right thing. I have seen people type in no and then use try and use some sort of articles association, which is a total disaster. They don't know what they're writing. Uh, they upload information from a template on, on Google shared docs or whatever it is and make a complete hash of it. So make sure you use model articles unless you have expertise in that area. Um, this is a really useful um, website for you to look at about sole directors. I talked about it earlier, but I want to bring it up again. Sole director case of Hashmi versus Lorimer Wing. Uh, this is, I'm going to go through the detail, but it's really good for you to have a look at this uh, website. They did a perfect job on it. So um, it was a good read for me. It's a good read for you as well. So let's go through this and the mistake number five. So Hashmi versus Larimer in March 2021, the founder and developer had fallen out. This is about uh, the, the IT development as opposed to property, but it works for any company. Um, the founder wrote, uh, wrote to developer to uh, on sorry, 2nd of March 2021 to inform him that he had been removed as a director. So he's a director shareholder and he removed the other person as bad lever under the definition uh, in the company's articles, meaning he had forfeited his shares. So not only did he take off his directorship, he actually taken off the shares as well. He had no right to do that. The third director, okay, subsequently resigned and ceased to be director on the 12th of June, 2021. So from that date, founder was back and being the sole director of the company. Now, when he set up this company, you can be a sole director. You can change that to be a multiple director and share, multiple shareholder and then reverse it all back. But you do need to get the, the permission of the director's shareholders before you do anything. On 10th of August, 2021, developer presented an unfair prejudice, which quite right to um, petition to the court seeking an order that the founder purchase his shares in his company. On the 21st of September 2021, the company served a, fence, a, sorry, a defense and counterclaim asserting variation claims against the developers of the other person, including claims of breach of contractors' duties, breach of contracts, and pre-contractual misrepresentation. Hmm. Hard to argue, I have to say. The court granted the developer application to strike out the company's counterclaim, therefore agreeing that the founder as sole director of the company did not have to requisite authority under the company's articles of association to make a counterclaim. On the court's findings, that would model articles would require amendment to permit a single director to run a company, including deletion of model articles. So if it's got a sole director, it cannot, without amending model articles, do anything. So if you're setting your company as a sole director, you're making changes later on, and you've got model articles, disaster is waiting for you. So make sure you do not use model articles or you amend them as you, do, you move forward. And that's one of the things I did say about not setting up a company on your own. So that's it, five disasters, mistakes of setting up a UK company. What have you done that you now regret? What have you done previously? And what do you see mistakes from other people setting up their own companies? Please feel free to have a discussion with me right here on YouTube. And uh, let's, uh, let's chat away about what's going on. So until next time, thanks a lot.